made up this crazy story about Trump's first 30 days in office, 1,400 pedophile rings were arrested, more than all of four years of Barack Obama had in four years. He's done in one month. And everybody takes that story as gospel, okay? But what? They saw an article. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, guess what, man? I took the time. I looked up those cases. I contacted the public information officers of the police units that made those cases. And she talked about all these kids that were being rescued and all these pedophile rings that were being shut down. I came up with all these numbers. I talked to the, 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 the departments in charge of those uh, operations. Okay? Those are operations that go on every single year. Nothing changed. They had started before Trump had even announced he was going to run for president. Trump had nothing to do with it. The kids who were so-called rescued, okay, this wasn't even a pedophile case. These were adult prostitute women, <laughs> okay, for the most part. A couple of them were those uh, uh, to, to catch a criminal, you know, to catch a predator, you know, type things on the computer where you pretend you're an adult, you know, pretend you're a little kid, and you go there and you arrest those guys. Some were that, which go on, gone on for years before Trump. That TV show was on way before Trump. But the kids who were so-called rescued into the hands of CPS Child Protective Services were children of these uh, massage parlor women, you know. And then when police came to arrest their mothers, they they took their kids into custody, too, and put them into foster care. That's the the rescuing that went on, okay. Uh, There was uh, no other rest. This is a total bogus story. Now, I've done a couple of shows on this, and people have sent her my show. She's made no attempt to correct this. Not, not one attempt to correct this or, my, hey, I got it wrong. Hey, I was confused. Hey, but once, you, once you, you're confronted with the fact, and anybody can call me saying the public information officer that I did, I've posted the numbers. Okay? Anybody can call. Okay? Once you, I, I, you know, trust me. Just earlier today, right, I had a, I did something stupid with this guy, right? And I get him on the phone. I call him over and say, oh, man, I'm so sorry. You know, I made a mistake. I screwed up. Let me tell you what happened. It's kind of funny. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I apologize. You know, I, everything I did was wrong. And my daughter hears me apologize. And she starts going, who are you apologizing to? Right? You know, and people have this impression of me that I'll never admit that I'm wrong. You know, I, I always have to be right in there. Wrong. That's a hundred percent wrong. If I'm wrong, man, I, don't, I will let you know it. Okay, and I'll, I'll do everything I can to correct it. So if you make a mistake in your reporting and you don't want to correct it, that means you're a liar and you're telling lies and you know you're a liar. Now the other thing too is, man, this woman also put out a, a nonsense video recently uh, about how the coronavirus quarantine is part of the Q roundups of uh, all nonsense stuff. You know. The white hats and the white rabbits and the, you know, and Q tells us this and we know from Q that. Hey, listen, if, if you still believe in all that foolishness, you know, then you are, you're listening to the wrong show, okay? Listen to the wrong show. You know, I deal with real people, with real knowledge, real facts, real reporters. And, and, and there's this whole myth too, man, I got to tell you that, uh, well, the mainstream media is all controlled and stuff like that. And then the alternative media is one. I've, I've met more people telling more lies, more damage, more comment in the alternative media than I've ever run across in the mainstream media. And I go, you know, I'm in the press section. I'm in the press booth, you know, press credentials. I got all I'm done there, man, you know. You know? And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of lazy reporters. There's a lot of gullible, stupid reporters, you know. I, I know this one guy, you know, and he would tell me, Ed, whenever I get on a plane, I look around <laughs> for Arab, you know, looking people because I'm done to see if they're hygiene. I'd see if I can size them up, if I can take them down, you know. You know, so they, they, they're gullible, you know, and they they just believe mainstream stuff, you know. Well-meaning people, good-hearted people, but they're just gullible, and I think they get those jobs partially because they're gullible. Okay. Um, now I did a show last week with uh, Stephen Hoffenberg. Now, Hoffenberg, all along, from the first time I interviewed him, I've done about 10 interviews with him, has always been defensive of Trump. He's the ex-partner of Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, he's the former CEO of the New York Post. And um, they, uh, there was a little beef there, a little charges came down. He took the fall for the company. Epstein skated away and uh, with $400 million. And by the way, Rudy Giuliani was the attorney for that uh, company. 
because no one talks about that. Rudy Giuliani Je represented Jeffrey Epstein at Tower Financial. <sighs> now, I've always talked to him about Trump, you know, and I said, man, come on. First night I met him, you know, uh, I said to him, he said to me, I said, you know, I'm, I was the investigator in the Katie Doe case. He goes, why? Well, he says, you believe that case? I said, I know I believe that case. Okay, and I, know, I went to many, many law firms with that case. No one turned down that case that, I, that I'm aware of, that I, no one that I talked to turned down that case. I can tell you that right now. So, case was heavily vetted by many law firms. No one turned it down. And, you know, the people who do want to criticize it, you know, because you, you read some complaints and you read some articles about it, there's a lot more facts and evidence that go into a complaint, okay? Uh, way more. That's why you, you, know, you have discovery and you see what evidence people have in depositions and things like that. You know, you can't look at a first complaint and say, well, you know, I don't know. I'm an expert now. <laughs> I've decided. You know, I got to tell you, of all the law firms I went to with that case, the, the, the most lowly paralegal in, in, in that law firm has more intelligent experience in <laughs> betting out a lawsuit than some of these characters I see on YouTube. Uh, claiming that, well, I don't believe this. I'll tell you, let me I've examined this thoroughly. I'm, I'm taking a, the, 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 the line I love, taking a deep dive on this, right? You know, you guys tell me the other day, you know, so and so, this reporter, she's taking a deep dive on this. So if she's taking a deep dive, how come she's never contacted me for information? How come she's never contacted me to see what I know? You know? Why would you leave a stone unturned? If, you, if, you're, if you're allegedly really serious about investigating a topic, why would you leave a, a stone unturned of a guy who's available and would want to talk to you? Why? For what reason? Because you have another source of information. It's, it, you, it's, uh, the, your, 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 your information is coming channeled through another direction than you going out and finding it. Okay, Because if you're going out and finding it, you're going to... Uh, you know, when I'm doing an investigation for someone, right, and I'm telling them, well, okay, you know, listen, we can run these reports, you know, I can go here to the courthouse, I can, you know, uh, we can do this, we can do that, we can do this, we can do that, you know, but it's going to cost this much, this much, this much, this much, right? And I was, oh, man, there's so many we can cut back. And I says, well, you know, most of those are fees I'm paying out, you know, on top of that's my, my time, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but if you're a fireman, and you're going into a house to put out a fire. You got to check under every cabinet because it could be a kid or a dog or whatever hiding in a closet, hiding in a bathtub. So you check every room, every cabinet, every closet, right? Because you're a fireman, <laughs> okay? And that's how you do a fire when you do a fire investigation when you're in a house, searching a house to find if there's people in that house to rescue people. If you're an investigator, you have to go to every. When you get there, you may find nothing. And you may have wasted that money. Now it's not wasted because now you have an answer, yes or no. You know? But that's what you got to do. If you're a real investigator, you reach out and you overturn every stove. You look in every closet. You look in every cabinet. Now, if you got information come to you another way, you know, you're, that you're happy with, yeah, you know, you got a little fame, you got a little money, right? Because I also noticed, too, it seems like a, people who have no connection to anything other than one day they decide to start talking about it. Because they got a fancy YouTube channel or a fancy uh, Twitter channel uh, to go get the most followers and views. So explain to me, explain to me how that works. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, but Hoffenberg, right? Now, the thing with Hoffenberg is he's always been pro-Trump. Hoffenberg, believe it or not, um, ran a pack for Trump. You know, uh, uh, he was behind a pack for Trump that raised $50 million for Trump. And I don't know, he, he always gets upset I word it incorrectly. I says, hey, you had a pack, you ran a pack. He goes, oh, my God, oh, I got it. <laughs> you, know? Uh, you know, so he always gets upset with me. But he definitely he was behind a pack that raised a ton of money for Trump. He was involved in all that stuff with Manafort, Stone, all those guys. He knows them all. He's involved with all of them. He's always been, he got married in front of Trump Plaza, Trump Tower, one of those places. Okay. This is a Trump guy, years and years and years. He's working on this thing down in the Virgin Islands. There's new evidence, there's new witnesses coming forward that are ready to talk about Trump's involvement with Epstein, both financially and criminally. Same kind of crimes Epstein was involved in. Okay? So there you have it. Now you can't, and what do I get all these comments? Well, he sounds like a deep state shill. And he sounds like he's a liberal. <laughs> he sounds like Nancy Pelosi and Schiff. 
Okay, well, and you're biased, and you're, tr- you're you're anti-Trump, so you're biased. I'm not, I'm telling you what the facts. I'm saying what the guy, the guy who knows Trump, guy who knows Giuliani, guy who knows these people is telling you. Okay, someone involved, a real person. And all this nonsense. You guys want to watch YouTube and stuff like that? Go have fun. Uh, but I, I bring in the truth. I bring in the real people, firsthand witnesses, or I tell you stuff that I'm personally involved in firsthand that I personally know. Okay, right, ran, ran out of time. Went long tonight. Uh, but thank you so much. Good night. Getvocal.com. If you sign up there, I can stay on. If we don't get like a thousand people signing up uh, over this weekend, I'm gone. I'm off there. And and it, it was some decent income. They're very difficult to deal with, um, but I could probably smooth that over if we had some action from the audience and some people actually signed up. You know. All right, guys. Thank you. <laughs>Have you ever thought about opening your own mobile card or kiosk business? Maybe the facility you manage could establish new revenue by adding coffee, food, or retail services. Cart King International can be the answer to your needs. Cart King is a North American designer and manufacturer of the finest mobile coffee, food, and retail carts and kiosks. Cart King has been working with clients and corporations across North America for 20 years, providing innovative designs, custom manufacturing, and timely delivery. Carts and kiosks are fun, and so are the dozens of designs on our website. Please visit us today at www.cart-king.com or just call us at 1-877-986-7771 and get your sales rolling. Aquadam.net. Give them a call at 707-764-2119. A flooded home is never easy to deal with. Uh, you're left with the mess to clean up, having to deal with the insurance company, uh, not to mention the memories that are lost that you can never replace. Uh, to those who live in flood-prone and hurricane-prone areas, uh, which is just around the corner, prepare now. Hurricane season is right around the corner. Visit Aquadam.net to see how they can help you prepare to avoid flood damage this season and every season thereafter. And Aquadam can be another tool in your arsenal uh, to protect your home and property from the floodwaters. A coffer dam, using water to control water, that can protect your home, your business, your church, your neighborhood, like a dam, but without the beavers. Give Aquadam a call at 707-764-2119, 707-764-2119, or look them up online at Aquadam.net. Uh, they're also on Facebook at Aquadam Inc., or call or email them today. They can help you out. Give them a call. Uh, tell them Opperman Report sent you. Opperman Report, that's 10% off the price to anyone who mentions the Opperman Report. Are you ready to change your life but don't know how to start? Is your stress and worries keeping you awake at night? Have you been battling grief, anxiety, or depression all alone? Have you lost touch with your own sense of being or spirituality? Soul Free Therapies offers professional and affordable live video streaming counseling and coaching services from the comfort of your own home. Sessions offered in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Go to our website at www.soul-free.com and book your first session today. If you find yourself in need of legal representation, it can be a very stressful time in your life. In my career, I have dealt with thousands of lawyers, I've dealt with thousands of law firms, and I can confidently recommend to you Keith M. Davidson at kmdlaw.com. Available 24 hours, seven days a week, just log into kmdlaw.com, that's kmdlaw.com, or you can call toll-free 833-4-KMD-LAW, that's 833-4-KMD-LAW. Personal injury, wrongful death, STDs, sexual assault, car accidents, They handle it all efficiently and professionally. It doesn't matter how imposing the opposition may be, because the team at KMDLaw.com are battle-tested and fierce. 
They will not stop until justice prevails. Go to kmdlaw.com or call toll-free 833 833- 